majority of school inspections in Wales have been carried out by private contractors at a cost of around £8,000 per primary school, £20,000 per secondary school. This week, the teaching unions called on the Audit Commission to investigate the charges. But they're also asking a more fundamental question. Is the new system working? Rhyna Piorwerth reports. Inspections are a fact of life for all schools and have been for decades. Since September 1993, they've been conducted by contractors, teams from education authorities, colleges or private agencies. Teaching unions are concerned that the changes in the inspections process has led to an inefficient system and they want a full investigation. Quite obviously to get a picture of the performance of a school is an expensive business. HMI have been doing that for a long, long time. Um, what the pressure of Ofsted inspection type inspections is the pressure of time that they're working under and uh, therefore the team has to be that much larger, the exercise is that much more intense and then the costs uh, rise accordingly. But the man responsible for the system in Wales feels that the taxpayer receives value for money and denies that contractors are paid excessively. I think the system is working very efficiently and uh, very effectively as well. Uh, when you look at the total amount of money spent on inspection as compared with the total, of money, total amount of money spent on education as a whole, it's infinitesimal. The profits that uh, people make out of inspection are not great. If you compare the price of an inspection of a school uh, with what consultants uh, would receive in commerce or industry, you will find that the profits in inspection are very small. But whilst efficiency is acknowledged as being an important issue, teaching unions and opposition politicians alike are more worried about the question of whether school inspections are succeeding in what they set out to achieve, which is to raise standards in education. What worries me greatly is the snapshot effect, that um, it can only be at best an impression which is gained over a very short time that they have in school. Now with the traditional HMI inspection, there was a much longer lead-in time. Uh, the time spent in the school was uh, a longer period. But most importantly, the call-back facility that HMI had um, to ensure that progress was being made. Uh, there's none of that in the current inspection arrangements. Plaid uh, Cymru this week called for a whole new system in Wales, putting the inspection system and existing education bodies under one new umbrella, the Education Council for Wales. The government, they say, are using competition as an instrument to raise standards. The companies that, with what we would regard as a very threatening inspection system, which is managing to impose very significant strain on teachers without providing them with the means of support to enable them to do their work effectively and in fact to raise standards and there's not much doubt that standards do need to be raised. I, th I think we, we've got to review the process to, to, to ensure that schools, whilst they accept that people coming in will be looking for their weaknesses, that at the same time they will be providing help and advice so that the school can deal with those weaknesses as they're perceived. There is continuous monitoring of what happens after an inspection. Uh, schools can draw on LEA advisors, uh, they can draw on independent consultants, and many do this. Uh, many secondary schools draw on their own resources. But the inspection process doesn't finish when the inspectors leave the school. Another concern by some is that contracting has led to a deterioration in the quality of the inspectors themselves. Teachers need to have a confidence in the system, which at the moment they don't have, because there are far too many people, I believe, involved in the inspection process who, who need far better training for the job that they're doing. The registered inspectors who conduct these inspections are people who've gone through a rigorous selection and training process. The Welsh office responsible for education in Wales is satisfied with the present system. All indications, they say, point to improvements in education standards in Wales, due in part at least to the inspections process. Well, to discuss those issues further, we've come to the Gabalva Primary School in Cardiff, where I'm joined by Gethin Lewis and Gwynora Jones. Uh, Mr Lewis, first of all, the principle of inspection, that's got to be a good thing. It's got to be right, isn't it? Nobody is opposed. Uh, to schools being accountable 
and being inspected. There is a fine tradition in Wales, uh, going back well over a century, where we've had an independent professional inspection team. And under the new system, schools are inspected more often, so that's got to be an improvement, isn't it? Well, under the new system brought in uh, recently by the government, um, schools are being inspected in Wales on a, a five-year cycle. But my view is that... Where in the old days, it could have been 20 years before they were inspected, yeah, there, there so could, it's an improvement. There could well be a formal inspection over 20 years, but you would have uh, independent professional inspectors visiting schools regularly. And if there were a problem, they would then make a sh decision to have a full inspection. So, so, you, so you were saying that uh, inspectors, the private inspectors, people like Gwynora Jones employees, are, are amateurs? I am saying that the, the system has been privatised. Um, inspection teams are now uh, a new business. And I'm saying that all of us in education need to look at effective use of scarce resources. A business, Gwynora Jones, you just need it for the money. No, of course not. Well, first of all, let's get one thing clear. It's not just private agencies that do the inspections. Colleges do it, local education authorities. We're all providing this service. And what Gethin says is quite right. It's really about value for money, and it's really about making good use of resources. Now, just, just be give, give you one percentage fact, first of all. A five-year inspection, once every five years, the cost of one secondary inspection is equivalent to half a percent of a secondary school's five-year budget. Yeah, well, now, that's good value for money well, before we start. Put a figure on that uh, for, for us, we know. Uh, well, um, £20,000. It's around the figure of £20,000, yes. Right, so Cost the, of one teacher. That, what does the school get for that? The school gets, first of all, the week's inspection. It gets the registered inspector, the lead inspector, former HMIs, former head teacher, head teachers, former education chief advisors, experienced people in the education world who then spend probably about a month compiling their report, gathering evidence two or three weeks before that. Now, I could go on at length. It is grants a lot of money for a month's work, isn't it? Right, but for about 15 people. There are 15 inspectors in a secondary, in a secondary school, three or four people in a primary school, and Gethin has quoted some figures around the eight, 9,000 mark, and he's not, off, he's not far off the figure. But that involves three or four people in primary, about 15 plus in, in secondary. So is it a reasonable figure? Um, the, the figures are correct. I'm glad that uh, they've been confirmed. But is it's it reasonable? It's, no, I don't think it's the proper use of resources and it's not value for money. And this is why uh, professionals, people who are still teaching children, not people who've taken early retirement on generous packages or have failed in other occupations, are now coming in to judge uh, uh, schools yeah. on the new national curriculum which they've never, ever had to teach. It's Can the quality of the people, we know. The quality of the people are first rate. The people, in <laughs> fact, well, get in smiles. Let me just say, we have done over 200 inspections between England and Wales. I have done about, been involved in about 30 myself. Apart from two or three schools, every school welcomed the inspection, appreciated the inspection, and the vast majority said thank you at the end of that week. Gethin is so out of date, it's beyond belief. I cannot believe that his union actually believes, and the teachers at the ground floor actually believe in the same way as he does. They prepare better, they prepare very rigorously, they do an excellent job. And my experience, they have been first rate in all the inspections we've been involved with. And my advice to Gethin would be, look, that's the message he's going to tell the outside world, that his teachers, the people he represents, are doing a first-rate job, you, rather you, than playing around on the edges of the issue. You, you haven't had an inspection here, Gethin Lewis. Do you think you might change your view if you, if you had? Uh, no, I'm proud that we've had an inspection under the previous system where you had professional people oh, with yes. professional credibility, full-time independent inspectors who are not working for a business or a for profit. Now we have but the, fact that, the fact that someone yeah. is working for a business doesn't mean that they can't be independent, does it? I mean, they, they don't get paid more if they come up and say it's a good school, or get paid no, more no, if they no, say no, no, it's no, good. No, 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 just no, explain. No, no, okay. no, Gethin has made a serious accusation, and it is a very serious accusation against very experienced professional people of long standing. Some of them probably inspected his school in 1988, and he's now calling them unprofessional amateurs. They are, we have 30 registered inspectors. They are the lead inspectors who provide the report. Of that 30, a quarter of them are former HMIs, a third are former head teachers, 
very experienced people. They're not people who run away from their job. No. They've been in no. the system no. 20, 30 years. The, the, te I, I, the tender no, no, process I, getting would mean no, that it, I, it's, I, not I must, the, it's not the local used car sector who's coming in to do this. Well, in, in, yes, in some cases it could well be. We are, we've got somebody who's never taught it? alongside me. Sorry? Have you ever been a teacher? But I'm a lay inspector. No, no, you've never taught, but, but you're involved inspector. in an inspection. What I want to do, there are people of high integrity, but these are people who should have still been paid a full-time salary under the previous system. Yeah. But, they've been but they'd be made, doing the same job. They'd be made they'd be redundant. Doing the same, they'd be doing the same job. They'd be made they? redundant. They, they are not independent. They're working for a professional company who's, which is tendering against yeah. other commercial yeah. organisations. But, but why does that mean that the inspection... This is what I don't understand, yes. Gethin, this is, I understand that that's almost a political objection, yes. but why does that make them less independent, the fact that they're employed through that process, why should that have any effect on the report they then prepare on a particular school? Because they need to be have more relationship with the school rather than a short four days in some primary schools and less than a fortnight in a secondary school. It's a short snapshot of a school which has had a year to prepare. What we want is a continuous link with professional advisory staff who can work with the school throughout, have a self-review. There's got to be some sense in that. A there? great deal of sense in that, and we've been saying this to, to Ofsted and OHMCI, that the weakness at the moment in is once the team leaves the school, they draw up issues for action. The school then, within six weeks, with the governing body, have to provide an action plan, and the inspectors are not involved in what happened afterwards. Now, that's got to be looked at. But let's be... If, if, that, well, let, let no, me no, no. if that change happened, given that it's private sector, given the tendering process, would you then be happy if, the, if there was that sort of continuing relationship well, with Gwynoro's company? Or who what I would be happy is that we have a government looking at the system and having a proper review. Are things working properly? Teachers are not happy. I am close contact with teachers. The teachers are not happy with the present system where we have people who are just coming in for short visits. What we want are continuous links, people with professional but, but, credibility. But, but you wouldn't mind if those, if those were private sector or public sector. Can, can, I, can I just say one thing? Yes, close, constant links are very important. And the local education authority provide that. There yes. are LEA advisors, I assume, that come into Gabalva. But by the way, it is not just us. The LEAs inspect schools as well. I assume Gethin is happy with that. Is, yes, it, is yes. it the private school, the private agencies he's worried about, or the other people who carry on exactly the same inspection process as we do? What I, I'm happy, we need a stronger uh, local education authorities to be involved in quality assurance, to help schools share good practice, to make sure that children are progressing, that the school is developing. At the moment, we don't have it. We have an intensive preparation for a five-year cycle of inspection, and then there's a, there are no advisors to assist. What we want is a proper full-time staff that at local level and at national level in Wales. Looking at, lo looking at what happens after the report is very important. I totally agree with him and we need to look at better ways over the next few years to improve that. We also, in my judgment, need to look at the type of report, the sort of judgments that are put in the reports. They sometimes can be very bland. That needs improving in the next cycle, I hope. But at the end of the day, I have little doubt that the new inspection system has been positive, it has been helpful, schools work better, they are better prepared, their documentation is first class, their planning in the classroom is first rate, our schools in Wales are doing a good job. And that is what Mr Lewis should be emphasising, rather than some sidelines of an issue, because that's all it is. And, and as an ex-politician, <laughs> Gwynora Jones has managed to get the last word, as we'd expect. Gwynora Jones, get into this. Thank, Thank you very you. much.